hi everyone and welcome to this new video so in this new video i'd like to show you how to apply my products my presets using photoshop or lightroom okay so so many people ask me how to apply these presets uh, with photoshop it's really easy to do and this is why i create this video to show you exactly how to do that so here i have my presets actually this is a dng files actually the renders this renders with the settings with the presets okay for example with photoshop okay let's see so let's open for example this dng file with photoshop okay so exactly we have this window so the question how to apply this preset on an other render for example here i have some other renders this one or this one how to apply this preset here using in this render in another render okay so with photoshop you need to export the preset so we click here in this exactly here then simply you click save preset so here in french but you have save preset or save settings this here all the settings click save and choose where you like to save it for example let's save it here in the same folder we call it preset one then okay so now let's close all that here we have my preset one for example now i like to apply this preset on this render so i open this render with photoshop then i click filters fit the camera row then here then change parameters then simply i choose the preset one that i already exported click ok ok this is the preset done and here with photoshop i have so this parameter is here change it of course but you can change you have here you can change so many things in your render to get better result okay so that's easy to do with photoshop first thing you export the preset from the dng file we have 20 dng file then you open your render then you apply the preset okay that's really easy so now with lightroom here are my presets and let's see let's see now with lightroom for example i open this dng file with lightroom with Lightroom is more easier to do. Okay, you now just need to click develop, then click copy. Actually, you copy the preset, the settings. Then you go to another render, for example, this render, then simply click past. Okay, here we have it. Actually, you can see it without the preset and with the preset. I really like my presets. It's amazing to use. This is not because this is my products, but it's really make a difference. Okay. So I hope you enjoy the video. And I'd like to say thank you for everyone who support me. Of course, the preset is really important, but the light also is really important. The light gives the shadow for your render. So here, for example, to have this shadow here so let's come back you can see here some shadow here this shadow you can get it you cannot get it without light okay here we uh, another example so without the preset you can see here this shadow here this shadow here this black areas you cannot get it without without light then the preset is really important and i like to show you that here you can see here the render without light and with the light so the light gives realism for your render so you can see here this is the render this is the render with the light then i have the render here i have this render here so actually this is the render without light then the render with light can see the difference the light is really important then you apply the preset for example let's apply the same preset okay then boom 
you can see now that the preset gives soul for your render and here we have some problems for example with her lips you can change here from the colors you can change the red color and make it more you know realistic we have here some problems you can fix it with photoshop but the the, the render looks great you can see okay without preset with the preset and you can see that the light is really important here without light here with light and with preset so i hope you enjoy the video i hope you enjoy my predacts if you have any question you can also comment ask me questions so see you in the next video ciao